latest on the city's bankruptcy filing tonight. The feds respond to the possibility of a bailout. And Michigan's attorney general is poised to join the fight for retirees. The latest now on the city's bankruptcy filing. The Obama administration defending its decision today not to offer Detroit a federal bailout. Treasury Secretary Jack Lew appearing on ABC to make the case. Detroit's economic problems have been a long time in developing. We stand with Detroit trying to work through uh, how it approaches these issues. To the extent that there are kind of normal relations between the federal government and state and local government, we, we've been using those methods. Even in the Treasury Department, we have a program where we, we work uh, to, to help uh, uh, with housing programs. Uh, I think when it comes to the questions between Detroit and its creditors, that's really something that Detroit's going to have to work out uh, with its creditors. And experts say there's a good reason why the feds won't bail out Detroit right now and why we are a huge test case. Detroit is not alone with employee pension debt. Uh, Detroit is a small microcosm of the problem here. You look at uh, Chicago and Los Angeles who have uh, uh, a multiple of unfunded pension liabilities relative to Detroit. If the federal government were to cast their line right now and say, yeah, we're going to cover Detroit, it almost opens the door for them to cover hundreds of you know, billions of dollars of unfunded pension liability. I don't think they want to do that yet. Detroit Emergency Manager Kevin Orr trying to negotiate cuts with 30,000 retired and active Detroit City employees who are facing a $3.5 billion pension underfunding. I'm hoping that he has some sensitivity to our pensions for current retirees. The emergency manager is asking federal bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes to appoint a committee of retiree creditors rather than just their union leaders to negotiate. He may be tired of dealing with the union officials and he wants some of the retirees in the room to hear what is being bargained and negotiated. Um, for the union officials, this has very broad implications nationally. And enter tomorrow Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte to argue the Michigan Constitution protects public employee pensions against cuts. Does it give employees super status? This is the game-changing component in Detroit's case that could also set a national precedent. That's why the bondholders are going to fight to the death on this one. Yeah, another busy week ahead, including bankruptcy court. We have you covered every step of the way on air and online, wxyz.com.